What's up you guys? Today I'm going to do a real quick review on this um, Trinitarian Bible Society classic uh, reference Bible. Um, it's King James. They do all their Bibles in King James. There's the ISBN and the product code. This is in a, a calfskin leather black. Um, here's some of the little features for the different ones like the vinyl and the uh, uh, bonded and the flexible vinyl and stuff. And uh, There's the uh, page size six and three quarters, four and a half. <clears throat> and it's considered one inch thick, supposedly one inch thick, um, the Bible is. Uh, Trinitarian Bible Society is amazing. For those of you that do not know, they are probably the king in making the King James translation, <laughs> like in printing them. It, they do a phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um, so let's get that right down to this little Bible. Um, there's the spine, classic, uh, classic reference Bible, uh, Trinitarian Bible Society. It's in a black, uh, calfskin leather. Um, I love their calfskin. Trinitarian Bible Society has one of the best calfskins to me and their Bibles are thick. Like the cover is super thick. Um, it is a paste down liner. Um, and before I go too much further, I will say that I am absolutely shocked that this Bible is not talked about more. Um, because especially as a smaller everyday carry Bible, like this thing is small and I'm fixing to show it compared to a pit minion in just a minute. Um, but for a small everyday carry, if you like the King James, like this is amazing. I'm, sh I really am shocked that people don't talk about it. Um, there's the gold gilding. It's not art gilded, but it's gold gilding. Um, it's got two black ribbons. Two for such a small Bible is great. Um, it's paste down, but these paste down liners are really thick. I mean, this this cover is super thick, um, and their paste down liner Bibles will last forever, like the Pit Minions, the Cambridge Pit Minions. So uh, that's, I mean, I'm telling you, I can't even describe how thick this paper is. It's crazy. This cardstock. Um, there's your presentation page, um, and then you have. Uh, a couple of thick cardstock empty pages. I like how they do that. It's awesome for those that like want to take notes or something, um, or put your own doctrinal references or whatever it might be um, in here. Uh, there's the uh, the Holy Bible, um, Trinitarian Bible Society. There's the uh, copyright page. They show the uh, copyright for the Cambridge, uh, the King James. The contents, uh, epistle, uh, epistle, epistle dedicatory, uh, translator to the readers, and the names in order. Um, there's some pronunciation guide that they have. I believe Trinitarian Bible Society pretty much has this in all of their Bibles. Um, and this Bible is brand new, so it's not broken. So I'm having to try to hold it with my hand as I flip. All right, so there's Genesis. Um, the layout is just absolutely incredible. Um, this Bible is not red leather. It is uh, sewn, binding. Um, but man, when you break this thing in, it's going to be an awesome, awesome little carry Bible. Um, it's very, very bold. The font's very bold. Um, it's just, just a nice little Bible. It doesn't lay completely flat yet. Like I said, it's a thick... Their calfskin leather Bibles are really thick paste down. So uh, their Bible would be great once you break it in. Um, let me go back here and show you that it's not in red letter. It's all black letter text, verse by verse, uh, King James. Um, and you go back here to the back. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the Bible. Um, in King James Version, and you go back here to the back, there's Revelation. All right, you got a, a Bible word list. This is some of the, uh, like, I guess you would say more of the archaic or whatever, unfamiliar objects, animals and plants, weights, measures, and money. Um, it's just a different, it, it explains to you the more quote-unquote archaic words and stuff like that, what they mean in verses like as to where they go and stuff like that. So there's a few of these in here. Um, Trinitarian Bible Society is good at that as well for those that love the King James, but will admit that there's places here and there that does have a kind of an archaic word that you may have to do some research, which doesn't hurt us. Um, 
that's there. So you've got that. Then you have a uh, the abbreviations to the books of the Bible. Then you have a, a reading plan. Um, and after the reading plan, that's the end of the reading plan, you have some more empty pages, which I like. There's quite a bit of these. Um, I love when Bibles do that. I love when they put pages for people to write in in the back. And then, of course, you got your maps um, back here in the back. And I like their maps because their maps are almost like regular Bible paper. And uh, that's nice, too. I always like when when Bible pu publishers do their maps on like regular paper instead of the glossy paper. Um, and then this has, this is like your coordinates on the maps, um, basically is what that is. And then that's it. Then you got your couple of uh, card stock here and your, your paste down liner here in the back. There's the two black ribbons that this Bible has. Um, this thing's paste down liner is just amazing. It's so thick and strong. This is an awesome Bible. Now, let me show you something here. This is my New King James Pit Minion. This thing, I've had this thing for a while. I've used it. You can tell by the little, how the yaps kind of trained and uh, I've used it and I've wrote in it and stuff. Well, I want you to see the comparison of these. This is why I don't understand why this Bible is not talked about more because the pit minion is super famous, okay? Look at this. It's basically the same footprint. The pit minion may be just a fraction taller, but that's probably just because of the leather, the yap. Look at the, look at the text block. It is just a fraction longer. Just a fraction. Um... And you, I mean, I'm standing them up. They're actually ex almost exact same height here. So um, I don't know exactly I, without looking. I, it, I can tell the pit minion is like maybe a quarter, maybe an, of an inch longer. But anyway, there they are. I mean, they're almost the exact same thickness and everything. Now, here's what's interesting about that. Here's what I like. This is really cool. So here they are. Let me open them up. The pit minion has a font of 6.72, I do believe. All right. Now look at the difference in these two Bibles. Now, don't get me wrong. They're both, for small Bibles, this one's decently readable to me. I I've, I can read the Pit Minion. Now, I have a harder time reading it, like if I don't have decent light or whenever I'm teaching or whatever. Um, and, of course, it is red letter. But you get a text like that, it's 6.75 is a little bit tough, but you look at that compared to this, this is way bolder, like two times more bold, and it's in an eight point font, um, eight point six point seven five. So I don't know why this does not get more talk versus the Pit Minion, the King James Pit Minion. This is the new King James, but what I'm saying is this should be probably a little bit more popular than the King James Pit Minion. Um, this is a nice Bible. Look at it compared to the Pit Minion. Look at it in size. It's insane. Like it, This is a awesome, awesome, awesome Bible. So if you like the King James translation and you want a Bible that is like the Pit Minion, but a little bit more readable, um, this is the Bible to get. It's the classic reference, um, TBS Westminster. This thing is really, really cool. And I think Evangelical Bible, um, and maybe some other sites have this Bible for only like $50. That's insane. This is a nice little Bible. So when a pit minion is going to run you like a hundred, but, um, anyways, look, I, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about this TBS, uh, West, uh, not Westminster, the classic reference. Um, let me know in the comments below and uh, I will do my best to answer. But anyways, look, I love you guys. I thank you for watching. Um, this is an awesome little Bible. Pick this thing up if you like the King James translation. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching.